new knives, and our trade shows worth it? Let's light it up. So the main new knife that we have to show this time around is the new readout from Benchmade. This is the all blacked out version, grivery on the handles. This is gonna be very similar to the old readout except all black. CPMD2 on the blade steel, really nice aggressive texturing. That's uh, gonna give it, uh, I guess, a, a really confidence inspiring grip right there. Of course, access lock. And we've got it not only in the straight blade, but also in the partially serrated blade. Those are coming in at 180 and those are available now as of the filming of this. And they just launched just a couple of days ago. We actually have those in hand. We've got a couple of other new things to show you, but um, one of the other things that we wanted to talk about are our trade shows worth it. And we've talked about this in our podcast series and we've talked about this before. And we wanna know from your perspective, are they worth it for you? Not necessarily to go to, but for the content that you get from content creators like us. At least from our perspective, it is worth it. And that's simply because not only do we get to see new products in hand, we get to see all the new collaborations that are going on, and we've got stuff scheduled out. So just so you guys know, we are leaving tomorrow morning headed to SHOT Show 2024. Now, SHOT Show is a little bit different than a lot of the trade shows that we go to. Most of them are open to the public. SHOT Show is not. It's only open to industry professionals, people that work in the industry. And you have to have your credentials to be able to get into these events like SHOT Show. And so the cool thing about that is everyone always has new product to launch at the beginning of the year at SHOT Show. And that's really important. We look back on all of the events that we've had in the past. And we look back on companies like Case, especially in our industry, always revealing their new vault pattern at SHOT Show, always revealing what they've got coming up next. You'll remember just a couple of years ago, Case set the world on fire with the new Marilla when they launched it. Now this is the Marilla with the G10 insert right here. This one is in the green. They didn't originally come out, they came out with the black, the red and the blue first. Then they, of course, came out with subsequent patterns and stuff, uh, different colors. S35VN on the blade steel. They've also done a couple in Magna Cut as well. But it gives these companies a chance to get this product out there and for people like us to go ahead and get it in hand and show you the new product that is coming out for the year. And that's really exciting for us. Not only that, but also to get to talk face to face with the companies, not just over a phone call, not just through email, but actually get to see them in person. That same year, uh, Case came out with the Kinzua. This one right here, really cool. Uh, aluminum on the handles, S35VN on the blade steel, comes in a drop point, and the Tonto. Originally only came in the Tonto version, but again, Case's modern folders really set the world on fire. So the question that I'm asking is, what's going to be coming this year. Uh, last year, Case released the Westline. We already have seen and gotten in hand what Case is showing this year, and we're really excited. Breeze line. And um, so uh, you're gonna see that. You're also gonna see uh, on Monday, the release of their 2024 vault pattern, which I think everyone is gonna love. And also, they've got some new kind of modern-ish folders that uh, I think will kind of bridge the gap between what Case is traditionally known for, traditionals, yeah, see what I did there, and their new modern folders. So, really excited for that. Um, you've also seen in the past companies like Microtech last year coming out with the Ramlock. This thing has been super hot all year long and with good reason. We're talking really heavy duty and they didn't go astronomical with the price. They've got offerings with their Ramlock uh, ranging anywhere from 190 to into the mid 300s and for a really heavy duty uh, modern folder from a company with a reputation like Microtech being so durable, um, 
you can't you can't knock that. And they've got their new M390 MK, which Shot Show last year is where they released that that was going to be their proprietary blade steel on their new releases. Um, they still use M390 for the most part on most of their knives, but <clears throat> on their new like Ramlock series, it's all going to be M390 MK, which is a special recipe of M390 that uh, that Microtech came out with for this series and uh, worked with Bowler uh, extensively on getting that uh, new blade steel, I guess, set kind of to their specifications and, and exactly what they wanted. Now, we've also got a couple of other new knives that <clears throat> we wanted to kind of show off. First off, we've shown you the limited edition series from Case. And this is the next uh, installment from that. We just got these in last week. Uh, this is the copper lock. So this is a full size copper lock, again in that limited edition old red barn board jig. And got the limited edition etched on the blade right there. Beautiful knife. And if you're like me, you like single blades, you like the lock back. And uh, this is kind of the style that I collect, the copper locks and the mini copper locks. This one is going to be a great addition to any collection and they are flying out the door quickly. Uh, it's taken one week and they're already in our top five for the month. So uh, that did not take long. Really, really great fit and finish on this knife. True sharp surgical steel on the blade steel right there. And in addition to that, we've also got a really cool series. So Case has not done a mint set in quite a while. And they've released their first mint set in quite some time. This one is one of 250, so only 250 of these made right here. This is going to come in the display box right here. You'll see right here, one of 250 right here on the bot. <clears throat> they are going to be numbered on the back side with the case certificate of authenticity, and you've got the number right up here. <clears throat> this one's number 178, so limited edition, year 2023. <laughs> And you'll notice that these are going to be the same from that limited edition series. However, there's going to be one distinct difference. And all of these are going to have the nice engraved bolsters right there. Beautiful engraving with the double X on those. Absolutely gorgeous knives. With all of the, all of the numbers on these, all the pattern numbers, you're going to get the Stockman. You're going to get the Copper Lock. You're going to get the Sowbelly Stockman. That's the TB series right there. You're going to get the Two Blade Barlow and you're gonna get the small lock back right there. So that's a really cool set. This one's coming in at $914.99, which when you put all that together with the special edition, that's really a great price on that, especially if you are a case collector. And back to kind of what I was talking about earlier, we've already gotten a lot of our schedule ironed out for SHOT Show. But what we want to do is we want to get you guys involved. Uh, we want to know what you're most excited to see and what you want us to take a look at while we're at SHOT Show. We've already got meetings set up with Case, uh, with Hogue, because they've got some really cool new stuff coming out and they are doing a lot of collabs across the board with companies like CRKT and doing all of their new automatics. Hogue has got some really neat stuff going on for 2024. We're really excited to see that. So we're gonna be visiting them as well going by to see Benchmade, going by to see Microtech, and see what all they've got coming out for this year. Um, we've also got a lot of meetings. Uh, if you haven't checked out and do like Pew Pews, check out our sister stores channel. That is going to be SMGA, Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. Check that out because we are also going to be providing full coverage of SHOT Show 2024 uh, from that channel as well more on the gun side of things. So if you're interested in that, go check that out as well. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. And then also on that channel, tell us what you wanna see from SHOT Show 2024. Like I said, we've got a lot of meetings lined up and uh, really excited to see what's going on. And again, a lot of collaborations that we're really excited that we can't really tell you about just yet. We are meeting with the guys from Tor. Gonna get to have some really cool discussions with them. And uh, SE might have some really cool new stuff coming out as well. I didn't tell you that. That didn't come from me. But I've already seen it, and we're really excited to show that to you guys. So that should be on the docket as well. Again, like I said, what I want you to do is tell me in the comments down below 
what you want to see and who you want to see stuff from. We've got a myriad of companies that we're going to get to and be doing short form content, long form content, all from SHOT Show 2024, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, <clears throat> this also gives us a chance to kind of uh, see what's coming out and see, I guess, if we're, you know, being uh, not really aficionados, but collectors ourselves, what's coming out and what we might want to carry for this coming up year. Um, I'm still carrying my tried and true. Actually, I'm carrying this one that I haven't carried in a long time. This is my Benchmade mini bug out right here uh, in S90V. And this one's with the carbon fiber right there. I absolutely love this knife. Um, this has been one of my favorites over the last couple of years. Uh, I've got my nice lanyard and bead right there that was made for me by Backdraft Beads right there. It's glow in the dark as well. And I absolutely love this knife for an EDC knife. It, it pops out there. It's super sturdy. Um, I rarely ever have to sharpen this one. And thank God because it is S90V and it takes a lot of patience. Good thing I enjoy sharpening. So, Greg, what have you got on you today? Greg's handing his over. Oh, Greg's got a nice little Christmas present. So, Greg's got that limited edition Case Barlow right there that uh, he's been carrying that... Um, he received as a Christmas present right there. This is a two blade. That's another cool thing coming from Case this year. They have reintroduced the Barlow. They have brought it back and uh, it is going to be coming back in a lot of different series for Case this year. Um, and you're going to see two blade and single blade versions as well. So get excited about that. I know we are. Greg's also got his classic SD in that checkerboard orange can't say what that reminds me of but it looks like this one's scoring uh, six points in the end zone right there and uh, got the nice pin blade got the file got the flathead and of course my favorite got the scissors so you can cut those stray strands of uh, fabric and oh trim your mustache with it yeah you, you, Greg's trimming his mustache with his uh, with his Classic SD there. Um, I'm also carrying uh, my Weatherford fixed blade. Um, that's no surprise to anyone right there. I actually had to do a little bit of work this morning with it. Also got my Microtech out the front X-Wing in the Hellhound. This is the Ultratech. We've now got the UTX 85s in in the Tonto. Uh, and check those out if you're looking to get in on that uh, X-Wing game right there. If you're a fan of galactic battles, if you will. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to that stuff. And you see uh, stuff from companies like Leatherman. Um, I mean, this has been one of the hottest items right here, the Leatherman Arc. I'm super proud of this one. I really dig it, and I've been using the crap out of this thing. Uh, actually, just a couple of days ago, had to change out a fuel filter on my John Deere small farm tractor, and uh, this thing came in handy right there because it's what I had on me. I was already on the ground underneath the tractor, and I had to get some hose clamps off. Uh, I had to actually use this to clamp down and actually break loose that... Uh, that fuel filter because it was a pain in the rear end because it was not necessarily taken care of before I bought it. I did not buy it new and um, I'm pretty sure that fuel filter was about 12 years old. So <clears throat> this, is, uh, this has been an insanely popular multi-tool right there. I'm still putting it through its paces. We're going to be doing more with it in the future. But like I said, let us know what you want to see from SHOT Show 2024. We are super excited and really stoked to get to go. And not only getting to see all of the stuff, but also getting to see uh, friends from the industry and getting to talk to them and see all the new stuff coming out. That's what's exciting for us. And we hope that's exciting for you guys, especially going to SHOT Show where it's not open to the public. Um, we get kind of an insider's view at what's coming up for 2024 and hopefully you guys enjoy that. As always, folks, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And remember, if it cuts like new products for 2024, then we carry it.